We are uh, live from the Rock Studio in uh, in Great River, New York. Uh, if you don't know where we are, we're located on Long Island. We are not tied to any one lender or any one product or really any one of anything. Because as a broker, we I like to use the boxing term. We have the ability to stick and move. Um, and, and what that means for, for you guys, what that means for us, is we have the ability to really, really, really basically not dictate the market, but actually be a complete representation of what the market is. And what I mean by that is there are thousands, and I mean thousands, of different resources that will give money to small businesses. Um, you know, uh, the show Shark Tank uh, really kind of exploded the the equity world back in, you know, back when it got going. And, and a lot of people are familiar with, you know, equity investments or, you know, selling off a piece of your business in order to get an investment into your business. Uh, but there's also a lot of debt solutions available to small businesses, right? And why I point that out is because we operate on the debt side. Um, so it's a little selfish, but more than anything, I believe personally that if you start a business, why would you want somebody to come in and take over something that you've already built? Now, if you're selling your business, that's a completely different story. But if you're somebody that, hey, I'm just looking to operate my business as normal, well, then you need somebody like Rock Financial. I once heard a, a commercial financing broker described by one of our lenders as a investor that is here when you need us and gone when you don't. And that's what I want you to think about when you think of Rock Financial is as a as somebody who represents the market, as somebody who is as somebody who is currently really utilizing the uh, the the different solutions that are available to small businesses, where we really pride ourselves is on the service that we provide. So the service that we provide is is really a unique one. It's it's more around literally just understanding what a business owner is trying to do and then pairing them up with the best financing that's available to them. And you may say, well, that seems like a very simple process. Good luck keeping up. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I say that to make light of a very, very uh, heavy situation. Um, there, like I said, are thousands of different ways that a small business owner can access funding today. Well, how do you know where to go? Well, I challenge you to turn to a team like Rock Financial. Our Rockstar team has been rocking and rolling in this industry for well over a decade. And what I can tell you is we do a lot of business with a lot of people in and around our industry who are doing business with other people in and around our industry, right? So we're not the only broker in the nation. We're well aware of it. But I can tell you the average sales rep or the average business financing advisor at Rock Financial does at least two to four times the business per year than any other rep in this nation, in this industry, as a commercial financing broker. Why? Because of the amount of resources that we have and because of you guys. Our partners allow us to reach more small businesses than anybody else. But you are then able to utilize our team's experience as an extension of your own team. And that's why it really is all about the different relationships. And I can't stress enough the the relationship that we have with you guys as our partners. Um, I think that if any of you have ever spoken with me, um, I, I really try to uh, at least a piece of me is going to try to show the appreciation that I have for our partners, because let's face it, you can send your business anywhere. Um, I believe rock is the best place, but that doesn't mean you believe it. Uh, so kudos to you guys. But one of the things that I also want to point out is those relationships that we actually have with our lenders. Uh, the lenders and banks that we work with, they're um, they're a unique bunch. What I mean by that is some of them are, are, are private money backed or they're backed by the the owners uh, of the you know uh, of the lenders. Then there's some that are venture backed, right? Where people come in and they they put together money or maybe family office backed, where there's kind of like a fund that's pulled together to 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 get these lenders going. Um, and, and then there's others that have, you know, traditional bank lines of credit, which brings me to a, a unique point I'll talk a little bit more about before, but there's been some bank closures lately. So how do we, like I said earlier, continue to stick and move, continue to take advantage of the fact that there is opportunity, but opportunity may knock. That doesn't mean that you have the answer. So how do we continue to have the answers? Well, one of the main reasons is our marketplace and the relationships that we have with our lenders. If you were to go sign up with a lender of ours, 
first of all, a lot of them you can't even sign up with these days because you need references, you need uh, you need licensing, you need uh, bonding, insurance, and and a lot of lenders are pouring more and more regulation into the process, as well as the the different states out there are pouring regulation into this industry. So you definitely want to know you you definitely want to be able to mind your p's and q's when it comes to to working in this industry or don't and allow rock to do that for you, right? Um, because we're going to operate with nothing but transparency. You get access to our entire funding process, right? So I have some major, major news for you guys on this, on this webinar. Um, if you are a partner right now, um, and you are familiar with our partner portal, give me a, a 100 or a 100% in the, in the chat right now. If you know when I say the partner portal, you know what I'm talking about. Give me a 100 or a 100%, please. All right, so at least we got Victoria, we got Edwin, Thomas, Anthony. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed to see. So a lot of you are familiar with our partner portal. Good, scrap it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so our partner portal is a, what I would describe as the new kids say, a sick piece of technology, right? It's unbelievable. It allows you to understand exactly where we are in the process and how it works throughout everything, right? It gives you the full scope on wherever your deal is, whether it's funded and you need to know how much commission you made, or it's in stage one and you want to know what that means, or stage five and you want to know what that means. Whatever it is, you have the ability to access it and see it in the portal. Well, we're fully overhauling the portal. And by that, I mean, we are going to scrap it. Um, we built out our partner portal and it has gotten us to this wonderful point. Um, in the next few weeks, and some of you might have even gotten an email regarding this already, we are going to be moving from our, yep, scrap it and rock it, rock it. I love that, Albert. And shout out to Albert. He's been a partner of ours for years. Um, but no, in, in what we're scrapping it for is to bring you guys directly into our CRM. Um, if anybody is familiar with Salesforce, uh, does anybody in the chat really quick know what Salesforce is? stock ticker is on the New York Stock Exchange. Anybody know? What is it? Tell me what it is. Somebody put it in there. Salesforce, Salesforce stock ticker on the stock exchange. What do they trade at? CRM. There it is. Like Josh said, it is CRM. Why do I point that out? Well, because when it comes to CRMs, there's only one. It's Salesforce. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of other ones out there. Uh, but as far as us, we're huge Salesforce users. And our portal was built to be a mirror image of Salesforce. And that's fine. A mirror image is great. Um, but I don't always like what I look like in the mirror. And I, I usually look pretty good, you know, going out there as the real thing. So uh, <laughs> what we're doing is we're, like I said, we're scrapping that portal and you guys are going to get direct access into Salesforce through the community's experience. Um, I will, I will dive into this, uh, as much or as little as you guys like, but that's not what today is about. It's not about Salesforce and Salesforce communities. I will be doing another meeting on that. Certainly. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. Oh, how much is it going to cost? Great question, Sean. It is free, my man. It's free. It's not going to cost you anything. It is going to allow you to integrate directly into my system. And that just makes everything seamless. Um, it works better for us. It works better for you guys. And that really, really is what it's all about, right? Um, at the end of the day, we want to be able to uh, streamline the process as much as possible. Um, but again, we are here to you are we are here to really really um dive into the products and if you're going to dive into the products it's really important that you understand well how does it actually work right what is it what is it that it means to get access to the products well if you're a business owner you got to complete our application once you complete our application and by completing our application you're going to uh sign excuse me sign our one page uh docu sign application you can connect your banks directly through Plaid, and we can either pull those statements that way, um, or you can share your bank statements by downloading them and uploading them directly into the system. Um, there'll be a link prompted for you to do that as a borrower. Once you've completed the application, though, you are paired with a funding advisor. Everybody gets one. Even if you're some one of our partners who services their own clients, you know you always have somebody that's there working with underwriting with you, right? Um, well, this is who your client is going to work with with underwriting, and it's going to allow them 
to really um, to really dive in and get personal on the business. I always say it's like popping the hood, right? Uh, if you really want to know what's going on, we got to pop the hood and see what's going on. You know, uh, at the end of the day, we could talk about it, but that's just talking. Uh, we really need to see what it is that's going on in the business and how do we best align you with the best funding options that are available to the business as well as what the business needs or, or what they're trying to accomplish. Once we've had that conversation, we're going to go into underwriting. Our lenders get us all decisions within two to 12 hours, but I want you to know that we're going to get all approvals within 24 to 48 hours and we fund all deals within one to three business days. So it really is the ability to move at the pace of the borrower. Um, I see deals all the time get uh, sent in, approved and funded the same day. That's somebody that has a need that is looking to, to really move quickly. And that's really what I mean by kind of this next step. Step four is choosing your offer. And this is, again, you guys, uh, you know, if you've been a partner with us for a long time, you might have uh, be, might be aware of it. Um, some of you may not even know, though, when you are a business owner who um, receives offers from Rock Financial, you don't get like a, a Excel breakdown or you don't get like a like a just one offer that says, hey, this is how much you're going to take. This is how much the interest is. This is what you're going to pay back. Right. This is your payment. That's not what it says. No, you get a calculator. Um, and you get a loan calculator that's going to show you all of the approvals, all of the dollar amounts, and all of the terms that you are approved for so that you can go in and customize the offer that's best for your business. Now, why is this, uh, why is this important? Well, if there's anybody in here that studied psychology, um, you know that when you present somebody with an offer, they say yes or no. When you present somebody with a calculator, you're asking them how much. Well, let me ask you, is there a difference between asking you, does this work, yes or no, or how much do you need? Are those different questions? Absolutely, right? So because of our um, our calculator, we see things all the time that like, hey, we never would have guessed that. And, and that's why it exists. That's why we built it the way that we did. Um, and if you are a broker in this industry, I think you guys would probably really understand why this technology is so important and so um, and so revolutionary. Because at the end of the day, there's not technology out there like this. Right. If you are a lender, you can show somebody a slider and they'll be able to slide around your numbers and play with it and and really customize the approval for themselves. But what if they have four different lenders that approve them on three different terms and each of those terms have different dollar amounts that are associated? How do you make that happen? Well, you got to come to Rock Financial and we'll show you. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, as far as as far as the process goes, guys, once somebody gets funded, the best part is, is that as a partner, we're going to pay you commission. So you can really, really just leverage our process and stay tied to whatever it is that you're doing in your business. So as far as the top products go, um, we're finally here, right? This is why everybody's here. This is why we're doing the webinar. This is why, this is what we wanted to highlight. Um, and, and this is what we were getting some questions on. And this is why we're highlighting it. When it comes down to it, guys, equipment financing, term loans, and lines of credit are usually our big three. If you've been on these calls in the past, you're probably saying, Tony, I've heard this before. Well, I can't stress enough, guys, that like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? At the end of the day, a line of credit and a term loan give a business owner a ton of flexibility and a ton of stability in terms of the types of funding that they can utilize and how they can utilize that funding. Equipment financing is one of the best specialized products out there in terms of financing as a whole. Why? Because it's separate, right? So imagine uh, imagine being somebody who you know you need $100,000, but you're going to go buy a $60,000 truck, right? And the other $40,000 is going to be used for payroll for the employee that's going to drive the truck. Well, imagine being able to go in and go in with a line of credit. Well, you're going to have to pull 60 grand on your line just to be able to buy that truck. And now you only got $40,000 left. Well, at least if you were to set up a separate type of financing, whether that's an equipment loan or equipment lease, um, you can now have access to that type of funding and some form of unsecured finance, right? So it's not tied to any hard assets in the business. And that's where a lot of our deals have been done so far this year, guys, is they've been done in, in in kind of uh, conjunction with one another, right? Where, hey, somebody might take an equipment loan and a line of credit or an equipment loan and a term loan or a term loan and a line of credit. Why? Because that gives business owners flexibility. That gives them the ability to customize what it is that they're they're doing. 
Um, is the equipment, is equipment financing tightening up in the transportation industry? Um, transportation industry, Ben, great question has tightened up all around, man. Uh, I, I gotta be honest with you. It, it's, um, it's one of the tougher industries to get done right now. And it usually is. Uh, but for a while there, people were really, uh, really getting, getting froggy. Uh, I think with some of the recent banking changes, I think with, uh, some of the recent rates, uh, the rate raises by the fed, um, it's got people back to, to excuse me, to traditional thinking. And traditional thinking doesn't really like young, new trucking companies. Um, if you're somebody with 40 trucks in the fleet and you've been doing this for years, you own a, a warehouse where everything is, yeah, you, you know, a bank will still lend you money. Uh, but if you're somebody, you know, one, three, five trucks on the road, um, you know, your credit might not be great. You probably don't own a, a building or, or a, a lot, right? Um, you know, that is where things start to get a little rough. So um, I would say as far as as far as somebody that, you know, is looking for, for a truck, let's talk about it. Um, you know, it, it might just not be the right time right now. And if you can, uh, if you can hold off potentially for another 60, 90 days, we don't really know what's going to happen. And that's the one thing that I do want to make Uber clear is guys, I can assure you three and six months from now, this will change the way that we have this conversation. The products might be the same, but the way that we have this conversation will change. Um, I'm going to go into each of the products um, and, and kind of dive in, right? And, and I want to start with equipment financing. That's not because I just became a certified lease and finance professional uh, or a CLFP in case anybody was wondering. Um, no, 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 no applause, no need, no need. Um, no, the, the reason I wanted to start with equipment financing is because, um, is because there is there's the ability to kind of fill the gaps around it, right? So uh, equipment financing is specialized. What does that mean? That means that we're looking at the value of the equipment. Uh, we're looking at the way that the equipment operates in the business. And we're utilizing that to really go out and find the best deal for a business owner, right? So equipment funding can be either an equipment finance or an equipment lease, uh, either way. Um, we also will fund any industry on equipment. And I mean, any, uh, I've done deals for equipment in the cannabis space. Um, I've done deals for buses. I've done deals for landscaping and construction equipment and, uh, healthcare devices. And I mean, you name it. Uh, but the one thing I did want to point out guys is that like, we're not just doing yellow iron. We're not just doing, uh, uh trucks and, and trailers. We're doing a little bit of everything. So if you know somebody that's opening a, a, a second location of a beauty salon or a spa and they need to outfit some, some uh, you know, some of the, their, excuse me, some of their equipment, uh, if somebody's opening a, a store and they're bringing in a POS system and that POS system is going to cost a good amount of money. So th there's a lot of different ways that we would be utilizing um, our equipment financing. And one of the most flexible parts about it is like I said, there's really no industry restrictions. So what are some of the top pieces that we get funding for? Uh, we do a lot of medical and dental equipment, a um, lot of health and fitness equipment. Um, yellow iron construction equipment is always a big one. Somebody mentioned forklifts. I saw in the chat, um, you know, like forklifts, backhoes, uh, you know, um, any type of excavators, dump trucks, um, trucks and trailers, restaurant equipment, right? If you're somebody that's either, you know, putting in a stove or a freezer or even glass casing, uh, you know, if you're somebody that's like in retail or, or somebody that's, if you're just somebody that's, Hey, I I'm trying to outfit what I got going on. And I don't want to come, I don't want to spend cash on that cash on hand on that, or I don't want to have to take a loan where I'm loaning cash for that. Well, now what a, an equipment finance or lease does is it pays the third party, the vendor, the equipment vendor, and then you get your equipment, right? So it really is a streamlined process for you to get access to the equipment you need and really not have to tap into cash reserves or let's just face it, having to use cash to begin with. Um, great question I see in the chat really quick. It says, what's the minimum amount financed? Minimum amount financed on any of our deals is going to be $5,000. Um, that can be across a couple pieces of equipment though. So like if you're somebody that is outfitting an office, uh, body shops, auto repair, those are great. Uh, shout out to George for that question. Um, 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if they want to add a lift, if they're buying tools, tool, uh, you know, uh, tool benches and, and, uh, you know, all the different things that, that they might need, uh, in a body shop or, or mechanical shop, all about it. Um, the best parts about equipment though, uh, the best parts about equipment financing are right here, right? You can get access to up to 100% financing. Now that doesn't happen for everybody, right? You do typically have to have a decent credit score. Um, usually a couple of years time in business. Um, you know, there is, there is the ability to get access to uh, terms anywhere from one to five years. Uh, and if you're purchasing a piece of medical equipment, it could be even longer than that. Um, and then there is the ability to keep your cash on hand or the cash flow. So that's really like all of the main benefits around equipment funding and what it means for equipment funding uh, in terms of rock. Um, I do just want to point out, guys, there's a lot of questions in the Q&A already, and I see uh, some questions coming in to, like, uh, the hosts and panelists in the in the chat. Do me a favor. Please, please, please put those in the Q&A. Otherwise, they will get lost in the chat, um, and I always start in the Q&A with the questions. Uh, so please, please, please utilize the Q&A. I try to get to as many in the chat as possible, but you wouldn't believe how quickly you guys you guys start piling in some questions. So. Uh, if you guys are somebody that, you know, you have a question and it is something that you need answered, put that thing in the Q&A, please. Um, outside of that, guys, equipment funding. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, equipment funding is really going to be all based on the value of the equipment. So technically, there is no time in business minimum. There is no minimum revenue needed. Right, you do just need technically a 580 plus credit score, and you could get access to equipment funding. Now, the one thing that I will say is, if you are somebody with no time in business, with uh, no revenue, and there isn't a business to tie this this uh, equipment to, they may require a higher down payment. Right, so I don't want to I don't want to um, stick my foot in my mouth and and. and not mention the fact that there could be a down payment needed. Um, typically, the way that that works is it's usually like 10 to 20% of the value of the piece of equipment. But on some of the more risky, uh, you know, um, some of the more risky pieces of equipment or the more risky businesses, excuse me, um, and some of the the equipment that does turn over a little bit more quickly, uh, you may see upwards of 25, 30, even a 50% down payment I, I, I've seen in the past. Uh, but if you're somebody and you know that financing 50% of the cost makes sense, well, dollars make sense. And that's really what it comes down to. And with Rock Financial, you're getting access to the information to make well-educated decisions. That's what it's all about. It, it, I'm not saying that we're one size fits all. I'm not saying that we're going to be the best or, or the cheapest or this or that. I'm saying that when you come to us, you know that, hey, when I get access to this, it's really, really, really going to allow me to, to push this thing to the limit. So um, quick recent uh, equipment story here. Um, this deal was done for a contractor. Uh, it was a deal where we were, like I was talking about before, able to do kind of two deals side by side. Uh, they were purchasing a, um, I believe it was an enclosed trailer, if I remember this transaction uh, uh, directly. Um, and, and it was something that they were planning on keeping on site at the jobs, um, something that really just uh, allows the guys to show up and get to work. Um, you know, and, and, you know, if you're, in that type of industry, you know how powerful that is. Uh, sometimes setup, breakdown, and and having that, you know, uh, having to lug things back and forth can be a big part of the day. Um, you know, so this was a deal where, like I said, they were able to get access to the funding. They were able to get even above and beyond in terms of what they were able to get and go get their hands on some cash as well. Uh, but it just shows you how businesses are utilizing the funding today. Uh, term loans. Term loans are great. What is a term loan? A term loan is a lump sum that you get access to uh, once you've accepted the loan, uh, the loan offer, right? So as a business owner, once you've signed a contract, let's call it a hundred thousand dollar term loan, you're going to get a hundred thousand dollar deposit, less any fees, uh, into your into your checking account, um, whatever account we underwrote for the business, right? So how does it work? Well, they are going to look at the sales of your business and understand how much revenue are you making and how much money do you keep on hand in order to afford a payment, right? And that's how they that's how they determine how much money you get access to on any of these programs. It's all about affordability. 
right? But terms from you know terms on the on the the uh, the term loan go anywhere from six months to sixty months. Um, we have weekly, biweekly, monthly payments on a term loan, and it's super flexible, right? What I mean by that is there's really no industry restrictions. Uh, you can be somebody with as little as six months time in business and get access to a term loan, right? So you can now you can now utilize um, you can now utilize all of these different all of the different things that you may need to utilize funding for, excuse me, can be solved utilizing a term loan. Really quick in the chat, I just want everybody to say yes so you understand me on this. Yes, I know that if I have a business owner, they can take a term loan and still go buy a piece of equipment, right? So th sometimes there's a little bit of confusion around equipment financing. Some people think like, hey, this is the only way that I, you know, that I can go get funding. That's not true. If you are somebody that doesn't qualify for a, a, a equipment financing for whatever reason, you may still qualify for a, a term loan. I don't know what the underwriter's feeling that day. I don't know why they declined you. Um, but I can tell you that just because one is a no doesn't mean the other one is as well. Um, and that's what's great about flexibility and the marketplace and the approach that we take is you're not just, it's not just about that one type of service, right? So you see here, we're asking for a two-year time in business uh, with a 660 plus FICO, uh, no bank liens or foreclosures in the last three years. Um, I did mention you could have as little as a six month time in business. That's because that's true, right? We list it as two years here because this is where it becomes pretty standard. And what I mean by standard is like, if you're somebody with two plus years time in business, you're really, really, really a strong candidate across many different uh, lenders for us. Uh, we only have one lender that will do a term loan for you if you got six months time in business. As far as two years, though, I, I got a whole bucket and let's let's put them to the use. Um, as far as a recent transaction, we just closed this deal, guys. And, and what's unique about this deal is it came from another broker. Um, I always love deals that come from other brokers because, you know, you constantly get questions around like, well, why would a broker work with a broker? I don't know, because we fund the million and a half dollar deals together, um, you know, or what, you know. Why would I need a broker if I'm I'm already working directly with lenders? I don't know, because we do million and a half dollar deals and maybe you can't get access to that much. Or or maybe you don't like million and a half dollar deals because they're not large enough. Like, I don't know what the situation is. But I can tell you savvy brokers know that it's about monetizing on an opportunity. And as you can tell, this broker monetized on their opportunity. They were trying to build out a new location for a healthcare facility. This is not something that's going to happen overnight, right? They're not going to make uh, all the money back tomorrow. So you need to have a, a system set up and something that is going to allow you to get to where you need to be. So by structuring the deal over 18 months, it allowed the payment to be where they needed it to be. Uh, but also their plans are that, hey, after about 18 to 24 months, we want to be opening up another location. So we didn't want them still paying on this deal. Well, they're potentially going to need another one. Um, and that's, again, where you start to get into um, why you're structuring a deal the way you structure the deal. Um, line of credit. Everybody familiar with a credit card, I'm assuming, right? So if you are somebody that doesn't, that isn't familiar with a credit card, the way a credit card works is you have a limit on your credit card. And each time you use it, you are going into how much is available to you versus that limit, Right. Um, the line of credit works the same way. And it also works the same way when it comes to payments, because when you pay that credit card, just like if you pay that line of credit, it's now going to become available to you. Any principal is going to become available to you on the line again. So it's really um, a, a product that allows those businesses that are cyclical, that may have, you know, common dips in their cash flow to really, really thrive on a line of credit. Now, I'm not somebody that's going to sit here and tell you, you have to run your business using other people's money. And it's all about the debt that you can take out. No, but what I am going to tell you is if you are a savvy business owner, you know, it's all about taking care, uh, taking uh, opportunity when you see it and really solving any challenges that you, you have as quickly as possible. So they don't spot Viral. Well, if you know that those two things are the most important things to you, well, then you know cash on hand is also going to be very important. Having access to a line of credit is just as good as cash because the second you draw on it, it's going to become available to you. So right now, unsecured lines maxing out at $250,000. 
Um, that's on the first, uh, the first go round. We, we have seen, you know, once you've established a relationship with a lender and you're utilizing the line, paying it down, they will extend terms. Uh, terms go anywhere from six to 36 months. It is a true revolver though. So basically, uh, you know, it will stay open the entire length of the term. Um, if you're somebody who you have a need for $250,000 right now, and you're going to draw on these funds and you're like, Hey, I want a line of credit and I want it over 36 months. And I'm just going to make the minimum monthly payment over the next 36 months. You, I'm sorry, are mistaken. That is not the product for you. You need a term loan. The line of credit is for somebody who's going to use it and pay it back, use it and pay it back, use it and pay it back. Right. If you know anything about personal credit, you got to keep a little bit of utilization, but not too much. The line of credit is going to work the same way. You want to make sure that you're utilizing it, but don't make this the loan or the 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 term loan that you needed because it's going to cost you 10 times as much of a term loan if you just pull it and let it sit there and and go full term on this thing. I promise. Um, I, again, don't take my word for it. Feel free to come in and apply with us and our funding advisors will walk you and your clients through the very same thing. If they're stuck on the term, I need a line of credit. I need a line of credit. I need a line of credit. I can't tell you how many people come in and take term loans when they need a line of credit. It's uh, it's literally something that happens every day. Line of credit is just a hot button item. It's it's the it's the the sexy term these days. So what does it take to qualify? Well, six months time in business, uh, five thousand dollars per month in revenue and a six hundred plus FICO. Um, if you meet those minimum criteria, you can get access to a line of credit. And what's unique about the line of credit is, again, the flexibility, right? So you see here, this deal was funded in one day that got the dentist act, uh, access to over uh, just about $200,000, excuse me. Um, and again, it didn't take all that long. They're able to get back to business. They're able to utilize the funding how they see fit right? Whatever it is, if they're updating some equipment, if they're doing this or they're doing that, shoot, guys, I've seen it sometimes where we'll utilize a line of credit to come in and pay off other things that are sitting there. Like if you have clients that have like a, a loan or a cash advance out there and it's, you know, something that, Hey, it's only got, you know, a month left or, you know, whatever it's got some payments left. Great. Let's get that thing paid off in the line of credit. Now you're utilizing the line, you have access to it. And then anytime there's anything else in the business that comes up, you have the line already. Um, there's a, there's a lot of different reasons why people borrow lines of credit guys. The biggest one is flexibility. It's because you can use the funds as you see fit. Um, and that's it guys. It's term loan. It's line of credit. It's equipment funding. If you are new to us and you want to get rocking, this is how my team is ready to go. I promise you they are waiting, uh, partners at rock.biz. You can call us right now. I know, uh, Sarah and, and Juliana and the lead team would love to speak to you guys. Um, as well as the, the biz dev team, any of their active partners or somebody that's looking to get active with us, reach out now. You can even go to rock.biz forward slash partners and become a partner now. Shout out to you guys for rocking out with me for the last hour or so here. Thank you guys so, so much if you are a partner. Uh, if you're not a partner, partner with us now. You see why. Uh, I'm very funny. No, I'm just kidding. It's really all about working together, guys. And that's what it's that's the the easiest way to say that you can be a successful partner with Rock. Speak up, let us know what you need, and let's talk this thing through and structure a partnership that makes sense for everybody. Uh, we're here to do good business. And if you like the same thing and doing good business, let's rock. Until the next time, everybody, keep rocking. Thanks so much.